In this video of our shed series, we're going to go ahead and work on the window and door schedule in Autodesk Revit. So to go ahead and get started, we are going to scroll down in the project browser until you see schedules and quantities. Go ahead and left click that and then right click and do a new schedule slash quantities. From there, we're going to scroll down and we're going to start with doors. So I'm going to go ahead, where are you? I'm going to click on doors and then I'm going to click OK. Now, what we're doing is we're setting up the schedule and what we want within that uh, table. So the, the things that we want are going to be mark, count, family and type, and assembly and description. So I'm going to scroll down. Let's find mark first. So I'm going to click on mark. I'm going to click this little green arrow to add it to my schedule. Then I'm going to go to count. Click on that. Click the green arrow. Now the order that we're doing this is the order that it'll be in the schedule. So you want to follow along on the same order. Then I'm going to go to family and type. Click on the green arrow again. And then finally assembly description. Click the green arrow. And then I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice right away it brings you into that door schedule you just made. And also you can click the plus sign over here in the project browser. And we're currently working in this door schedule now. What I like to do is expand these uh, columns just so I can make sure I can read everything. So I'm going to bring that out to about so. I'm going to do the same thing with column D. Bring that out a little bit just like so. You could bring these down if you wanted to, but you just want to make sure you can read all the information within those cells. And then I am now done with the door schedule. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and do another new schedule. This time we're going to do windows and we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to add mark, count, family and type and assembly and description. So I'm going to click OK on the windows and we're going to add in those four things. So mark, count, family and type, and assembly description. And then I'm going to click OK. Again, expand the columns to make sure you can read everything that's in there. knees down a little bit and then now we are done with the window schedule what we need to do next is set up the sheet for uh, those schedules so to do that we are going to go up to our floor plans we're gonna click on level one again and we're gonna right click and duplicate this like we did last time and I'm gonna duplicate with detailing and again, we're going to rename it, but this time we are going to rename it Level 1 Schedule. Click off of that. And we are going to edit the, graph, the graphics again. So if you scroll down in the properties, we're going to edit the visibility slash graphics. And we are going to uncheck planting again. Very similar to the one we did last time. Click apply, click OK. And we are going to change the scale to a half inch equals a foot. Click apply. And then I'm going to do a quick save. And then I'm going to go to... Let me zoom in. And then I'm going to go to the annotate ribbon up top. And I'm going to click on tag by category. And I'm simply just going to left click both windows to add the tags. And left click the garage door and the door for the closet. And you'll see the tags now for those windows and doors. And then you can go ahead and hit escape twice to get out of the tagging. And we're going to go ahead and adjust our crop region while we're in here. 
So I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to zoom out again, grab my crop region and drag it in. So very repetitive from the last one that we did. Tighten all this up. And then I'm going to turn off the crop region so I don't see it anymore. And now we're ready to add this into our A103 schedule sheet along with those two tables. So I'm going to scroll down, click into the A103 schedule sheet. I'm going to scroll back up and drag in our level one schedule. I'm going to keep it on the left side of the screen so I can keep room for my tables that I need to bring in. So I dropped that in, that looks good. And then I'm going to scroll down under my schedules and quantities and I'm going to drag in the door schedule. And I'm going to grab and drag in the window schedule. Um, if you want, you know, you can drag these and make this a little bit bigger to kind of match each other if you want it to be the same. Um, you can make those adjustments as needed. And that is your window and door schedule. And I will see you in the next video.